studied at the Glasgow School of Art and I studied illustration, came down to sign up to do an etching course. I'd done a little bit of etching, a little bit of screen printing in art school. Uh, and I also, at the same time, managed to get a job at Glasgow Print Studio working just on Saturdays. So I think for me it was amazing to have left an institution and then be part of a new one. That point where you leave art school and you suddenly, you don't have people around you, you're kind of stuck on your own trying to work out how to possibly make it. It was really, really nice for me to kind of be part of a new community. Uh, my work is very architectural and line based and the type of line you can get with etching is so unique. There's no other way I could make work like it. Also, I really love working with multi-plate, printing one plate on top of another and introducing colour to the work. And one of the things I love about that is that working on steel, you often get a little bit of plate tones. When I print one plate on top of the other, you get a kind of mottled background where the two colours just kind of mix with each other and I think that brings a kind of nice softness. For my here and now print, I started with a steel plate I used hard ground to make a line drawing and I, I then added to that with aquatint, make the shaded areas and I finished it off by hand colouring it with gouache and acrylic paint. The title of the new print is Sinclair Drive. All of my work is inspired by place. Um, I'm really interested in the built environment and my relationship with it and my understanding of it. So historically I travel to find inspiration from places which are quite unfamiliar to me. But lockdown meant that that obviously wasn't possible anymore and it made me start to look at my local area. I was starting to think about boundaries of private property because that suddenly had a much more significance during lockdown. And I've always really liked the concrete block walls that you get. They can tessellate, so you just make, they kind of make a pattern. And so I started to look at those walls of people's gardens. I never know exactly what I'm going to make when I start with a print. I'll just start drawing on a plate. When I've done the first drawing, etched it, I'll print it, and then from that point I'll decide what to do next. So part of my process is dealing with the challenges that come on the way. It's quite amazing the really subtle difference that the different papers can can uh, make and I think with this one different papers had different good qualities and bad qualities so that was quite a difficult choice but these are the kind of problems I would normally expect to run in with any print 